Bright lights. What's up, Bishop Montgomery? Hey, how you doing tonight? That's good. Uh, yeah, give it up for the great acts we have tonight. Doing their thing. Me too. Oh uh, yeah. I spent all night uh, working on my act, so it's not that great. I'm sorry. I mean. I procrastinate in everything. I procrastinate in school, talent show, especially procrastinating getting my driver's permit. That, was, that took me forever. <laughs> Should procrastinate with that because I, I hate taking the bus, man. It's, it's not that I hate taking the bus, it's I hate the bus drivers. <laughs> I don't hate them personally, but it's some bus drivers that just make me mad. Like one time I was a sophomore and I was walking down Torrance Boulevard because I had missed one bus, another evidence of my procrastination. <laughs> and uh, I'm getting close to Hawthorne Boulevard where I usually stop. And I see this bus to the side of me. I look at him, he looks at me. I start picking up my stride because he stopped at a red light. So I keep moving faster. Then I see the light turn green. I start moving even faster. Then I see the bus pull up, about to pass me. Wait! I start running, take off. Uh, huffing and puffing, my backpack flapping all over me. I hadn't learned from being a freshman, you're supposed to have a big backpack yet. So, around to the corner, and I saw him stop. I must have been moving pretty slow because by this time, he had picked up all the passengers and was about to pull off. All right, so I'm about to catch him. And he can't go nowhere because all the traffic is moving. So I run up, I'm confident and stuff. I knock on the glass. He looks down at me, just shakes his head. <laughs> FML. I was so mad. <sighs> Parched. <laughs> that hot up here. <laughs> anyway. How's you guys 2011? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Christmas. I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year because you can gorge yourself on cookies, cakes, pies. No one can judge you. Especially like little candy Christmas trees that's made out of chocolate. You ever seen those? No. Yes. They're pretty good. You should try them. So like, I love Christmas. But and my favorite part about Christmas is getting gift cards because you get a gift card, you can go to these stores, you get whatever you want. You ain't got to worry about taking back some designer socks or something to JC Penney's. <laughs> so the only problem I got with gift cards is they got to have the amount on it. Not just, not, you got to have the amount on it because you might trick your family members. They think they got, I don't know, $30 gift card and it's only $5. <laughs> For example, uh, about five years ago, I was like 12, my aunt got me a gift card to Target, but she didn't give it to me in person. She gave it to my dad to give it to me. So I appreciate it, I was like, okay, I got a Target gift card, but didn't have the amount on it. So, a couple weeks later, I'm at Target. So, okay, I wanna buy something. I think it was a Nerf gun or something. I was 12. So, I go up to, I'm, I, I get the thing, it's about 30 bucks. So then I figure it's about $25 on the gift card because that's like the average amount, right? So I give her the gift card, I say, here you go. She, just, she slides it, okay, that'll be uh, $25. Huh? You have a balance of $25, it's only a $5 gift card. It's like, what? Can't trick your family members like that, man, it's messed up. Holidays. There was a holiday yesterday, Valentine's Day, <laughs> or Singles Awareness Day, as most people call it, or some people. I don't know. And it's just a ploy to get your money. These Hallmark companies making these big holidays. So you buy all the cars, buy the candy, buy the roses, and people go crazy when it's stuff like that because. They feel they have to get something if they have if they are in a relationship. Like one time, I saw these two guys fighting oh. in a Walgreens. 
over a box of candy. And it's not like it was the last box of candy, but it was the last cheapest box of candy that was only a dollar. <laughs> it was candy that was left over from Christmas. Thank you guys, I've been telling you.